Do you, you guys are 10 and 0 at home going for 11 and 0 at home against UCLA. What's been clicking for you guys to have that undefeated streak here at Gill? Well, the fans are amazing. You know, they always come out every game and you know, they're always enthusiastic, you know, and they're excited about us. So, you know, that always gets us pumped and to come back and play well here. What are you guys seeing out of the Bruins right now? You know, they're uh, you know, they struggled earlier in the year, but now I think they they kind of clicked and uh, and they're starting to play better basketball. So, you know, we're excited for for that challenge. You guys have held nine of your opponents to under 35% shooting, five of them to under 30. I mean, what's been working for you guys on defense? I think we're finally understanding how to communicate with each other and we're starting to really trust each other. And that's, I think that's really the biggest thing is, is just trust on the defensive side. Yeah, I know you guys talked about this at the beginning of the season, but buying in to what Coach Wayne Tinkle had to say and his, his process. So you guys have bought into that now? Yeah, I think, I think we finally have you know, completely have bought into what he's saying, and we're starting to believe just because of our results. You know, like you said, we're uh, we're holding teams down to a lower percentage, and we're winning games, and that's really the ultimate goal for all of us. All we want to do is win, and uh, you know, coach said to play defense, and we're winning. And that's exactly what we're doing. So, got to. Against the Washington schools, you guys split games, but you did get your first Pac-12 road win. What did you learn from that series? You know, I think the guys are. Uh, I think me and the guys are starting to really understand you know how to play on the road you know we kind of kind of bring our own crowd you know Washington State they had a they had a good crowd and you know we just had to bring our own energy That's how, it really was. how do you guys bring your own energy is that like a pep talk in the locker room before is that out there on the court uh, well it all starts from the warm-up it starts from the preparation and it starts just you know really locking in early because we're not going to have the luxury of you know crowds on our side and uh you know, just, uh, you know, calls going our way. But, you know, we just have to stay together. And it all starts from, from the bottom man. Our, our walk-ons are always great when it, when it comes to, you know, hyping up the starters. And uh, it starts from there. Speaking of the hype, I mean, is there a song that you guys listen to pregame or during warm-ups? Is there something that kind of, like, gets you guys going? No, Coach does a great job of hyping us up, you know, in the pregame uh, speech, you know. And he he's really, he really, you know, pays attention to us and how we're feeling. And he can kind of incorporate that in the in a pregame talk. So, it really... What is his pregame talk like? I can't tell you that. <laughs> Secrets. <laughs> Secrets. You guys were able to go out on the road and get some momentum. Uh, how big a week is this coming up? This is a huge week. You know, uh, uh, we got that 10 and 0, uh, that 10 and 0 here at Gill. But uh, you know, we just gotta come out and not expect anything like magical to happen. You know, we gotta still do what we do every day, and uh, you know, just playing in here isn't gonna ultimately make us a win. We have to do what we do. When you look at your own offensive output coming into this season, do you kind of feel more comfortable um, taking your shots, making your own shots, coming within the offense? How is kind of your offensive production growing yeah, this year? I'm, I'm starting to finally, uh, you know, just understand, you know, when to, when to score, when the team needs me to score. Uh, you know, just the last couple of games, I haven't been – I haven't been shooting as much as I have, but I've been more productive. So I just feel like, uh, you know, that's kind of what coach has been telling me the whole time. You know, just worry about other things and the offense will come and that's what's happening. And I'm starting to starting to really understand that. When you look at uh, the season coming in, I think one of the things Coach Tinkle said is staying with the offense, kind of mental mistakes against Arizona State. He said there were uh, like a few times we're coming out of timeouts, you know, the offensive play broke down. Has that kind of improved the season in terms of making sure you don't lose? You know, are we in a two-three zone? Where am I? Stuff like just mental mistakes, like stuff like that. Has that improved over the course of the season? Is that still something that needs to to grow? Yeah, it's definitely something that still needs to grow. But everything still needs to grow. And uh, you know, guys are are improving on that. You know, but that just comes with experience. You know, guys are starting to get some experience under their belt. So now we're starting, you know, be more calm in the games, be able to tune things out, listen to the coach, listen to the point guard, and. Uh, next couple weeks, uh, they're bringing in, you know, recognizing Gary Payton and the, the team he was on. Is that kind of fun to be be a part of and, and see that happening here? Yeah, well, that was the first time you're hearing that, but that's pretty sweet, though. Like, I, I feel like, you know, those guys have done so much for this program. They're a good reason why we're all here. So, you know, I, I, I'm excited to see that. At the same time, is it kind of a reminder of, of where you guys want to be and, and that sort of thing? Oh, yeah, I hope to come back in 20 years, 10 years, and, you know, with all my teammates and be recognized for something that, that we did. You know, that's the ultimate goal, and it's, and that, and it's, it's great that they're recognized.